everybody. Hola, hola. Yeah. We will do it in English for you. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, I feel like there's also another character, which I feel is the building itself. And Definitely. at the same time, Elena meets her match with the building. What can you say about that? Yeah, that's uh, very true. I think, you know, there is these New York City uh, tough guys or, you know, these very powerful people that she comes face to face with and she meets her match. But what I think, like you said, the real threat that she doesn't see coming is the Greyborn. And I think that it is the perfect setting for a story like this, especially in New York. It's this beautiful building with this beautiful exterior where everything is looks shiny and new and rich. And then on the inside, you know, it's like these guts with an undercurrent of terror and deadly secrets and residents with ulterior motives. And so I think, I, yeah, I think it's always interesting when we meet two rivals that are worthy of each other that makes you know a good drama a good thriller and how does uh, the character of Jeannie help Elena here oh Jeannie is doing her best to um provide this safe space for Elena I think uh as Elena begins to open up to Jenny and uh about certain things in her life Jenny's Jenny's taking it and, and she's thinking that this is going to be you know a real friendship outside of just a professional relationship but uh I think Jenny will realize the closer she gets to Elena the you know the further she's going to feel from who she really is and um that gets very complicated very fast and is there another roommate upstairs hmm you know, know, the Greyhorn has many tenants. Many, many, many people live in that building. Um, so, you know, who knows? <laughs> I shall continue watching. I only got one episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to see. Yes. And for you, John, you play the other uh, partner in crime, I suppose. We can say, um, talk a little bit about your character. Scott. Yeah, I play Scott. I get uh, Lena mixed up in this whole mess, I guess, um, get the ball rolling. And um, we have a little bit of a, a toxic relationship going on that uh, the viewers will get to see throughout the 10 episodes, how that evolves and how we met and how our paths crossed. Um, but uh, but yeah, we're all trying to get a little something out of the Greyborn. I feel like there might be some clash there about having control in the situation, or am I mistaken? Mm, uh, no, I I think that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We both have ideas about how things um, should be handled and what the best strategy to get the job done is. Um, you know who's right? I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. But they both think they're right. But that tends to happen in relationships. See, we're we're even clashing here in this Zoom yeah. meeting room. You know, it's just like a constant clash of energies and alpha, you know, energy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So when what's one of the things that um that intrigued you for this project? I don't know if you had a chance to you got all the all the, the whole season to 10 episodes at once or did you just get them little by little? Um no, we just uh, you know, especially when we started, we only had the first episode, so I think that was intriguing for all of us just getting to be a part of it and finding out what happens next. Oh, Definitely. So like I mean, me. one episode. Exactly. <laughs> we had what you had and that was it. And 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 that was enough to to hook me into wanting to play this character and to seeing where the story went and what happened in the Greyborn. I don't know. It was a mystery for us as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you guys anticipate the ending of the season just from reading that first? No. Actually, no. The not at all. The way the story develops, it's absolutely impossible to know what happens next. I feel like, especially as someone who, I feel like I can call plots a lot um, when I'm watching uh, television or, or, or films. This show does a very good job of uh, making you feel secure and then changing everything that you think you know. 
So definitely just based on the first episode, cannot call uh, the end result here. Can you tell me one thing that one, one word that describes overall this first season? Addicting. Mysterious. Mm. Mm. I don't even, I, you know what I'm going to, those are both perfect. Thrilling. Thrilling. I was going to say, I thought your word was, mm, and I agree. It's, mm. Mm. My word was, mm, and then I was like, wait, y'all might want more. And then I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, mm, that's, that's, that's what you'll say after every episode. <laughs> I'm already in. I can't wait to get more episodes. Congratulations. I love the mystery. I love these shows where you guys are making us think. We're not just oh, good. glued to just watching animation. No, you make us mm-hmm. think. So I love it. Oh, great. I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And John, I'm a fan of your dad. Oh, I just so, saw him a couple days ago. I'll tell him. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Guy Ecker. I'm old. So for me, he was like my, my telenovela crush. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, yeah. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Very you handsome, man. Sí, muy guapo. <laughs> muy. <laughs>